It is a city of just 13,000 people. It's definitely small town USA. It's a small town that should be bigger than what it is. But don't sleep on the sleepy old town of California City. I think it is a community. People are going to look out for each other. The kids are tough. But one kid may be tougher than the rest. You see, Natalie Uribe never had an easy life. As far as a kid that's went through so much, so many steps in her life where it seemed like when things just got good, it, it'd be bad or something tragic could happen. There's no way she should be who she is. Natalie's father has not always been in the picture and her mother is currently serving a four year sentence for drug possession. And so for a while, it was just Natalie and her grandmother. She was a very sweet woman. She cared for her grandchildren. Like they were her world. Anything I asked for or my brother asked for, it was like, here you go. But in the fall of 2015, Natalie returned from a football game, only to find her grandmother had passed away. I see her laying on the floor, like in her hurdle position. And then it was just like, I didn't know what to do. Like everything stopped for me. I kept calling her name, like knowing that she wasn't alive. I was just seeing if it would like do something. But Natalie was not alone in her loss, far from it. I think it's definitely helped being small town, small school, where there were people that were like, wait, I see you struggling and I wanna do whatever I can to help. They just all come together and make everything like a family, even if you don't feel like you have one at home. Yet what Natalie did next might be most impressive. Channeling her grief, harnessing her anger, all in the name of her grandmother. I want to make her proud. My goal was to get straight A's and have a 4.0 and just to make my senior about her. And so in a small town where things can be slow, the young woman who grew up way too fast is now perfectly content going full speed ahead. Honestly, she shouldn't be where she's at. She shouldn't be going to college. She shouldn't be getting straight A's. She shouldn't be achieving goals in sports. It's a tragic situation, let's put it that way. But the joy that she brings to me is the fact that she just keeps going.